In this video, we will show you how to properly season a cast iron or carbon steel pan. Together, we'll turn a freshly opened carbon steel skillet into a perfectly seasoned skillet, a skillet ready for use. If you want to watch this video in the original Italian, head over to our international channel and turn on the subtitles. This is a beautiful carbon steel pan that we previously seasoned. Notice how the surface is perfectly shiny, black. You can literally see your silhouette in it. And it is not oil that you see on the surface, but the product of the polymerization of the oil used for seasoning. E questa, per esempio, è una padella in ghisa. And this, for example, is a treated cast iron skillet. Una sorta di finitura specchio. Vedete? What we have is a kind of mirror finish. Ovviamente anche il sotto deve essere trattato. And of course the bottom must be treated as well. So why bother to do this job? First of all, the seasoning protects these quality pans against the rust that would otherwise form on both carbon steel and untreated cast iron. Secondly, and this is very important, it makes these pans naturally non-stick. We will not have a non-stick coating equal to a Teflon pan, but pretty darn close. If we wanted to, we could even cook an omelet on a pan like this one. Ora, prima di iniziare la procedura, vi faccio vedere con un piccolo test. Now, before starting the seasoning process, we want to perform a small test to illustrate the difference in the non-stickiness of these different types of pans. It's the same kind of test that engineers use to determine how non-stick a surface is. We want to see the difference in the stickiness between a seasoned pan, an untreated stainless steel pan, and a Teflon pan. All we need to do is pour a few drops of water in the center of the pan and see how much we need to tilt the pan in order to make this water move. The less we have to tilt the pan to make the water move, the more non-stick the pan is. For example, this is a non-stick Teflon pan, a seasoned pan. Ecco, si a muovere. Ecco now qua. we add the same amount Stessa of water quantità. and let's try it again. We lift the pan, we keep lifting, nothing yet. And finally, the water moves. So we need to tilt the pan a lot more to make the water move, demonstrating that this untreated pan is not non-stick. We are talking about an angle greater than 30 degrees. That's roughly double the angle that the treated pan needed to make the water move. Now let's get started in treating this new carbon steel pan, just unboxed. It has a layer of protective wax coming from the factory, and we need to remove this excess wax before treating or seasoning the skillet. We are following the manufacturer instructions. And so in this case, all we have to do is pour boiling water on the pan and use a soft sponge to wipe it off to remove the excess coating. Ecco bollente. Ma versiamo un pochettino dentro. That's it. Super easy. Occhio che è calda. Ma questo l'abbiamo capito. And now, we're just discarding this water and repeating the same process a few more times. Poi scartiamo questa e ne aggiungiamo altra. One last time and we're done. And we need to pour the boiling water on the outside of the pan as well. this beautiful blue-gray color. And take a close look at it now, because after seasoning, it will transform into a completely different color. Now we just dry the pan well before starting the seasoning process. Look at all the junk that we've removed. Possiamo chiamarlo il marchio di fabbrica della padella. To season a pan or skillet, we need very few things. The first is paper towel or cotton cloths, and we will need quite a few, because with it, we will spread the oil all over the pan and then remove the excess oil. And obviously we will need oil with which the polymerization process will take place on the surface of the pan, which is the very principle of seasoning. And so we need an oil with a high smoke point. The choice is yours. You could choose peanut, sunflower, grapeseed oil. Here we are using peanut oil. The goal is to heat the oil beyond the smoke point and let it cure on the surface of the metal. 
That's the essence of curing. That's it. Sounds easy, right? But it just takes a minute to screw up the process. Some common mistakes include adding too much oil and not distributing the oil well. And then we've created a disaster that we will then have to correct, and that's not an easy process. We recommend doing this seasoning when you're at home alone because the process produces a lot of smoke. Make sure you leave the windows open and have plenty of ventilation, or even do this outside with a camping stove or grill. You could even wear a mask if you're sensitive to the smoke. One last thing before getting started. Regarding the heat source, seasoning can be done on a gas stove or grill, or it can be done using the oven. We don't recommend induction. Let's get started. We have a medium flame and are putting a quantity of oil that can cover the entire surface of the pan. The temperature that we want to reach will be very high, well over 250 degrees Celsius. That's about 480 degrees Fahrenheit. So you'll have to be careful so that the paper towel does not burn. And that is also why we will be changing it very often. A bit of oil on this side and also on the bottom. And then we let the pan heat until it reaches the point of smoking, literally. As soon as we start to see the smoke, we'll take another piece of paper towel and remove all of the excess oil. Ok, eccoci siamo un po' in questo lato e anche ovviamente sotto. Ok, ecco, abbiamo fatto anche il sotto, lo rimettiamo là dove era. Adesso lo lasciamo andare fino a che arriverà al punto di fumo. If you have an infrared thermometer, that's even better. With this infrared thermometer, we know more or less what temperature we are at. Peanut oil, if I remember correctly, has a smoke point of around 230 degrees Celsius. So we are not there yet, but we are headed there quickly. Però ci stiamo andando molto veloci intorno ai 230 perché inizio a vedere un po' di fumo formarsi. In fact, now we are starting to see some smoke forming. Do you see it? It is already turning color. Si sta imbrunendo e altra che non si sta imbrunendo, muoviamo la padella. If there's one part of the pan that's getting brown and another is not, we just need to move the pan around. Let's add a bit more oil. This is a lot, but then we quickly remove it. And this is very important. There must be only a very thin film of oil on the pan and no more. L'errore più comune quando si fanno le stagionature è pensare che ce ne vuole una grande quantità. The most common mistake when seasoning is to think that a large amount of oil is needed. A little more oil, just a little bit, and we remove almost all of it. And by the way, if you decide to season the pan in the oven, se la mettete in forno non vi salvate in ogni caso perché appena aprite il forno you won't save yourself regarding the smoke, because as soon as you open the oven, you will get attacked by the smoke. Here you can see we are moving the pan all around the edge so as to gradually enlarge the treated area. The central part of the pan will normally be the first to become darker, and then progressively the rest of the skillet. The question we often get asked is, how do you clean these pans? You clean them with water, without soap. Soap is avoided because it tends to tear away this protective film that we are working hard to create. So, wash with water, dry well, possibly put the skillet on the stove a minute to be sure that there is no more humidity, and then spread a drop of protective oil on the pan and put it away. The central part of the pan has practically turned black now, Un pochettino quest'altra che sembra un po' indietro. So that means that we are well seasoned there. If you are curious about what pan we're showcasing here, check the video description where, as always, we have information about any tools or cookware featured in our videos. Quel film protettivo che gli abbiamo creato. Quindi si lava con l'acqua, la si asciuga per bene, Now we can start to really focus on the edges. Ok, 
quindi vuol dire che lì siamo arrivati adesso possiamo iniziare a concentrarci veramente sui bordi a carbon steel pan is unbeatable for braising and searing for making crispy potatoes the same method that we are showing here can be used to also treat cast iron pans or even baking trays the so-called blue iron pans that we use in our pizza video recipes for baking trays we use the oven as our heat source o per le teglie, le teglie in ferro blu. Nel caso della teglia io uso il forno, però non la faccio nel fornello, sarebbe folle. Vediamo la temperatura. Let's see the temperature. Uh, 340 gradi qui. 340 Quindi degrees Celsius, so we need to lower the flame a bit. Bisogna abbassarla un pochettino, eh. And here we are. The pan is ready. Now we turn off the heat and let it cool. And here it is. Look at that beautiful dark, almost black color. Guardate che bel colore omogeneo. Polished and ready to use. Naturally non-stick. E questa padella qui è lucida lucida. Pronta all'uso. Should we do the water test? Let's see how let's see exactly how non-stick this pan is. E vediamo l'angolo. Oh, <ride> incredibile. Incredible. The angle is very close to that of a Teflon pan. Plus or minus 12 degrees. È eh, più o meno 12 gradi. 10-12 gradi. Ottimo. Quindi, vedete, guardate come gira velocemente l'acqua. Fantastica. Guardate come gira. Gira, gira, gira. And of course, the real test is cooking with it. So let's cook an egg. And look at how the egg can slide on the pan. If you like this video or learn something new, please give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more recipes like this from Italy and beyond. And click the bell to get new video notifications. And of course, let us know in the comments how your pan seasoning turns out. Buon appetito!